And then the start, I just swap it back off. Take that, make it like three minutes long, and you'll have most of the shit you see today. I know I'm being sarcastic. I'd say I'm sorry. I'm not really. But I do acknowledge that it's a little jarring that it just stops. Yeah. speech already. We will complete the preparations before the end of the speech. All communications to the halls have been severed. No one is aware of our presence. Let no one down into the halls until we are out. Yes, sir. We will secure your exit with our lives if necessary. There is one more thing. Yes, sir. Counterpoint, don't shoot at me, please. I'm friendly. Snake, I need you to... I need you to... Okay. So we can do this now. This is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. Whop. Missed. Hit. 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 Oh no, whatever will I do with your bright red fucking night vision things that are on your head? Aim for the fucking lights. There are more of you. Well, so long as you don't shoot through each other. <laughs> Why can't I move with my gun drop? Just close this. Out of sight, out of mind. Who goes there? Sounds like Ocelot. Because who else would wear spurs? We thought you were with the Colonel. What the? Rude.
Snake, are you in yet? Have you made it to the holds? It's taking longer than I expected. We've already passed the Verrazano Bridge. All right, we'll use another recovery point. They may be planning to change course. Save. What? The exits to the deck are all sealed. What are they planning? If they get Metal Gear, we're going right off the fringe. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses. The men down here are definitely Marines. If the deck is sealed off, they have no way of knowing that the ship's been taken over. I'm not interested in fighting these guys. The weapons won't do me much good here. Can you see Metal Gear? No. I'll have to go around to the bow. They have some serious defenses here. I doubt the recent arrivals want to blast their way through the Marines either. Wonder where they're headed? I don't know. Not the beach, that's for sure. That's a lot of people okay, with no Snake. communication Let's over how this thing is being time. steered. Use this camera to get photographic evidence of the Metal Gear prototype. Now do your thing and take pictures that speak louder than the government's plausible denials. We need four shots. Metal Gear from the front, front right, and front left, and a close-up of the Marine Corps marking. Marking? There should be a Marine's insignia on the body of Metal Gear. Just let someone try explaining away a clear shot of that. Ah yes, the days before Photoshop, yet after right. magic invisibility cloaks. There's actually one little thing. Just spit it out. I'm used to things going wrong. It looks like someone's monitoring our transmission. Who? I don't have a clue. All they're doing is watching. It would creep me out less if they tried to interfere with our communications. Could it have something to do with that cipher we saw? Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol for our burst transmission for now. What I want to do is use a different method for sending these photos, just in case. Instead of using the codec? Exactly. There's a workstation in the southeast corner of the block where Metal Gear is housed. I've made arrangements so that you can send the pictures from the machine. Arrangements? I hitched a ride on Link 16 into U.S. military's proprietary network, managed to get into that workstation, and overrode a part of the system software so I could remote install a little app I wrote. Nerd shit, gotcha. Why bother with anything that complicated? No, it's pretty simple, really. Look, all you have to do is stand in front of the machine and push the action button. The app will automatically launch and download the image data from the camera, split the files, and encrypt them individually. The data packets can then masquerade as okay. Okay, okay. but how could so how could I someone possibly get in front of the computer once I have the pictures, right? Well, sure, if you put it that way. And one more thing, the commandant's already begun his speech, but you need to get the pictures before he's done talking. Otherwise, they'll spot you. Okay? How much time do I have? I hacked into his personal files and took a look at the text of that speech. I'd say you have seven more minutes. Longer if he throws in a joke or two. A seven minute time limit, huh? I'm gonna Remember fuck snake, this up. Just the photos, okay? With these kinds of odds, I won't be making any sudden moves. But that doesn't mean we can just let Metal Gear be hijacked. Okay, okay, but first the photos. All right, we'll deal with the rest when we get there. Stay low. All that, but it's completely impossible that someone else could falsely put on a logo. What? Snake, climb the fucking ladder. Camera in the left, I guess. Yeah. The thing that can stand up to a metal gear is, of course, another metal gear. With Ray, the hundreds, if not thousands. <laughs> well, you can't crouch walk for some reason. Oh, there's a cutscene. I want to see. <laughs> Snake? Snake! 
Hey guys, by the way, uh, your tanker's been taken over by what seemed to be rogue Russians. And like, all your people upstairs are dead. At the moment, just say this that you might want to know. to save? Why not? Okay, there's a saying that goes, even a bird on high dies a glutton's death, as do the fish of the deeps. The lesson is, uh, don't be greedy. The fish that belonged to a family called the Deeps died from overfeeding, and so did a bird that got high on something, probably fermented fruit. Okay, if you say so. I do, Snake. Don't take unnecessary risks just because you're greedy for more items. Remember the Deep family's fish. <sighs> Why are you doing that again? Get down the ladder. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. You want to see shit. With Ray, the hundreds Couldn't just crouch, that'd be crazy. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Hmm. Nations building up hmm. their own Metal Gear Weird. force will think twice about their new nope. strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. Don't look this way. You're crazy. Hmm. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order. We, the Marine Corps, will play a Get. central role in the military. Gotta the camera. Thank you. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of Ray. This one has two projected. There are so many people down here. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air background. They're gonna turn left and right depending on the projector. Interference from a major plane. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Oh, you bastards. I can't crawl underneath this thing. Only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. There's the program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own Ray project, but I promise you that they will not succeed. I have a daughter. It is my greatest wish never to have her or her children Don't look this way. experience the horror of nuclear war. Ah, uh, hmm. father, this is I bad. A better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. Oh, not that bad. Didn't know there was a door there. I was thinking I was going to have to blitz across the center. Somehow. Ray is very much not Rex. He's just big. Metal Gear. Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. Unlike the army's wrecks, it can cruise deep underwater, move in undetected, and make its landing on any shoreline. Hey, who's that guy? 
information distribution yeah. system yeah. identifies target where for a photo <laughs> and takes them out with massive fire now you turned good ultimate weapon is yours to go i'd like you all to think about what that means Must be tense. Let's do a little stretching, shall we? Right. Left. Front. Ah. Uh, good. I guess that's okay. Crouching is going to make all the difference in the universe. This new model of Metal Gear is codenamed Ray, after the Great Manta Ray. The Great Manta. Oh, oh man, just sleep. Don't wake up, buddy. Rule the sea and land as we never have before. Metal uh. Gear Good. Where's the branding? Cruise deep underwater. Move in undetected and make its landing on any shoreline. Is it not on the legs? I seem to be repeating myself. Chalk it up to old age. Yeah. We have intelligence that there are anti-Metal Gear terrorists planning to target the ship. Where the hell's the branding? Intruder to the left! Alright. Nope, yep, wrong button. Intruder in the back! Intruder to the right! Intruder to the left! Should that actually happen, I expect you to be prepared. We cannot and will not give up Ray. I don't see it. Stay on your guard at all times. Just really screw over that guy, I guess. Let's continue. Now I can not give Snake the password. What is going on? So, any codec moments from you, Snake? The first image is... Okay, this works. It's a great front view. The next image is... I couldn't find the branding. This is great. The Marines lettering shows up really well. What? Fucking where? <laughs> next up is... You already took a good one of the side lettering. This is a different area. Next up is... I can't tell what this is. The camera's too close to the object. You it's need to pull back and take another one. It's the cockpit, man. The next image is... Okay, that's good. The shot from the right is in the bag. So, what's the last one gonna be? Didn't think Gerlukovich was involved, of all people. We're okay on the photos from the right, front, and the one of the lettering. The so only we need one a we back want is a back left. Here from the front left. I know you can do it. Okay. 
the other left one's too close, I guess. George C. has surrendered his presidency in the aftermath of Shadow Moses. The official reason given did not, of course, include the development of metal gear. Directs and next generation nuclear warheads. Got a big thing in the way, but sure, why not? Even you will have heard rumors that he was forced to resign. Good. Yeah, this button. The Metal Gear Rex development on Shadow Moses was supposedly the first preparatory measure taken against. Looks like I have your photos now. Let's take a look. Okay, first up. You're a pretty good photographer. We can definitely use this left shot. Okay, now we have all the photos. Snake, the speech is about to wind up. Forget the photos and get out of there now. Runaway time? Fair enough, they... Uh, I had like two minutes left. Oh, someone's being dramatic. Someone Excellent wearing spurs. Speech, my friend. Who the gift of the silver tongue? I thought there are like they 40, the 50 guys with assault rifles staring and at you right now. A liar. Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Identify yourself. I am Shalashaska, also called. Revolver Ocelot. Crunchy PS1 memories. What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no, I'm taking it back. Nobody move. Understood. This ship now carries enough Simtex on its key structural points to blow it out of the water at the touch of this button. That's right. No one has to die needlessly. What do you intend to do with Gray? 
sell it on the streets? I was raised in Znezinsk, formerly known as Chelyabinsk 70, the nuclear research outpost. What are you talking about? After the Cold War ended, my home was bought out by the Americans. Is there a point to this sad story? Not you would understand. Land, friends, dignity, all sold to the highest bidder, the United States of America. Even the technology that gave birth to these weapons is Russian, developed by us. What do you intend to do? Russia will rise again. And Ray is the key. I regret to inform you that I have no intention of selling Metal Gear. As I said, I came to take it back. Oh. Yes, returned to the Patriots. The Lale Lule Lo. How's that possible? Ocelot. You! Have you sold us out? <laughs> I was never in your employ, Kalukovich. Are you still in league with Solidus? No hard feelings, Colonel. Mother Russia can rot for all I care. Since when, Ocelot? When did you turn? I'm glad you noticed, comrade. I abandoned her during the Cold War. Metal Gear only has room for one! Gerlukovich, you and your daughter will die here. Damn you! Sergey, looks like you were long overdue for retirement. I trust. Stop. It's okay, just stand there, guys. No hand on the kill everybody button. Tossing guns in here. And there's like 80 of you. It's goofy. I'm gonna call it goofy. I love it, but it's goofy. <laughs> Show's over. If you wish to live, I suggest you run now. This ship is still in the lower New York Harbor. You may yet make it to shore if you swim for your life. Now you have no incentive not to shoot him. Maybe they're also suffering under how the game makes you aim. It's been a while, brother. Good voice matching. Who are you? you know who I am. Liquid? Not so young anymore, eh, Snake? You're drowning in time. I know what it's like, brother. No wonder Naomi passed you over for the Fox Dive program. Out! Get out of my mind, Liquid! The 
price of physical prodigy. Few more years and you'll be another dead clone of the old man. Our raw materials are vintage, brother. Big Boss was in his late 50s when they created his copies. But I, I live on through this arm. Oh no, not again. Where the fuck is the branding? There it is, at the very top of it. Aim for the cockpit. Not that it'll matter much, but still. Have a water cannon. That's a water cannon.
proceeding as planned, sir. we discussed yes I have photographic evidence of snake on the scene oh they're gonna pin it on me jerks I look forward to tomorrow morning's loose flash I would say the Marine Corps plans are on indefinite hold yes of course Mr. President Yes. The worst thing about these games is playing them. And that's okay. Like, that applies to a lot of... Scientists had to make thousands of calculations to create the atomic bomb and determine its effects. Computers and atomic bombs, both products of World War II, grew up together. Information age, people in for low time fast. But like, uh... Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Sound a little Terrorists different. blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark. A symbol of environmental protection. Calling teams Alpha and Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group and they have the big shell under complete control. Who's in more video games as the bad guys? Russians or zombies? Like, they treat them like stormtroopers. Stormtroopers also have a. Their treatment's fucked up. Their demands. $30 billion. $30 billion? What makes them think they can get that much? There was a government sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the big shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the base ecosystem will be wiped out and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. Two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Friends, right? Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. Friends, they can't see me. This 
Mr. Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant's struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. Please stop calling Raiden Snake. Snake. Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. Thank all you, right, Campbell. Raiden. You've already covered infiltration and VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. No. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. And now you're telling me how to use it. Contact you. The codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Time will also freeze. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? Fucking figure it out, There's man. There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. Your new sneaking suit uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. Huh? What does the that mean? The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch first. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. What the... What the... What? Why the bug? Why are there so many bug? I have absolutely fuck all nothing. Cool. That's just great. Is bug gross? The bug get out of the way. Uh... Hmm. Well, I guess snake's portion is done and now we're on to red. Got a rash. <laughs> All will be right with the world eventually. Okay, so try and go on next to something and you go up. For sure. Good info to know. Can we get over there? Maybe if I crawl. What the fucking... Why do you... Whatever. <laughs> Riding cartwheeling is not that him. Uh, it checks out. <laughs> I wonder how long I'm gonna have this on my face. Feels like it make up aiming really hard. I mean, you feel important. Stop cartwheeling. <laughs> okay. Uh. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk up and then see about saving. And then go ahead and call it a night. Got some reading done earlier. A quote unquote quiz thing that's probably uploaded. What the fuck are you doing? And I don't feel like fighting with the control scheme anymore to right now. So. 
He hasn't told me how to... Alright, I'll wait until I get to the same button then. Fine. Somebody's fighting somebody. Uh-huh. be a Grelukovich man. Grelukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses takeover group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. They've become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. We'll circle back to that one. <laughs> Peace Walker is also on this game disc. me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Node. Not nerd. Node. Oh. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as in I was about to be really mad at right estimated enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports we need to get to the map through the big shells node to put this data processing to practical use the node unit is about three feet high should be colored blue each area has at least one I love it when I have to unlock the map just push the action button in front of the node. The nano machines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Stay on guard. Got it. Definitely don't kick him a timer to yourself. That'd be crazy. Is it always that dramatic? It works. I'm going to put an actual birthday. Sure. Yes, Uganda. Uh, Yusa. All these things that we've already gone through. Yeah. Good work, Raiden. The radar should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. 
The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. Go save the president. You have no on-field experience. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. Ah, thanks. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, <laughs> so be careful. The big shell's layout map should now be available after touching the start button. How do I save the mission? It's all made of currently I've existing set aside technology. Frequency for saves and an analyst to work on the data too. <laughs> Jack, is everything all right? <laughs> what are you doing here? Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see... I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data, but I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh, well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. Oh, no. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. They've only got one star left. They're gonna start waking up soon. I gotta, gotta run. Elevator. Come on. What the fuck you want? Come on. Raiden, the enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out of sight. Damn fine. Oh, come on, Raiden. It's nap time. Grapples, you will be my friend. Later. Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. 
the hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training after all. Stay extra sharp until you can find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on Struts B and C. And the President? Seems he was spotted on Strut B. Strut B? ABC triangle. That's a big triangle. The big shell is comprised of shells one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. Okay, so now you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. Is it going to be forthcoming about where a node is? Got a bandage. What does a bandage do to the ration dozen? Oh, you can bleed. And then you have to use a band aid. That's awful, but okay. Seagull. Who and what? Raiden, look at that wire fence. You may be able to crawl through it. Crouch down using the crawl button. Then push the left stick in the direction you want to move. Push the crawl button again to stand up. There... You can use weapons even while crawling. This is different from VR training, so you keep that in mind. Were there people that just didn't play the, uh, tanker part? Oh. I mean, I guess you could Raiden, just start here. Is in. Do we really Technically. have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. But I found a gun, and it's a trank gun. Let's get to this terminal, wherever it may be. I don't like these camera angles. Sure, it's cinematic, but it makes it really hard to play. I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Don't go check the roof. I'm on the roof. No. Okay, there's different ladders. Motherfucker cartwheeling. That is a node. Uh huh. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. We have knocking mechanics. I would have liked to have had those. Blue part. Don't shock me again, please. Why you keep taking me back here? What do you want? Okay, thank you for behaving.
Raiden, watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. They will spot you if you continue on course. Don't sound annoyed with me. <laughs> Use the hanging mode. Hanging? Face any waist-high railing and push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the side. Once there, you can move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. All right, I'm giving it a try. Don't forget the grip gauge. It will keep decreasing during a hanging maneuver, and once it runs out, you will fall. Copy that. Wait a second. I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team 10. Intercepted? As I said before, they need to be kept in the dark about our presence. So we just listen in. I'm patching it through. This is Alpha Zero. We have the president. Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Easy money. Good work. Your retrieval is on the way. Come on home. Roger that. Holy! Ah! Alpha Zero, report. Damn it! Cover the president! Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy! Is that... Alpha Zero, respond. All Alpha, respond. Raiden, the president's life is in danger. Head to Strut B now. This is this way, right? I think so. Yeah. Uh, I'll do that next time. Come on. What's up, Jack? Saving. Nasa, you're supposed to use code names. It's a super secret mission. Come on. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay. I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow, no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes, should be a burial record somewhere too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. Okay. It's over now. I will continue this relatively soon. Turning it down to easy. Hopefully the controls don't bite me so fucking hard. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Later.